are back with another Full Out 4 Settlement Showcase and Review. You know how this goes. I'm going to show you where the location is for the settlement, the build range, things like that. So this is the Lesh Leshmere Station Settlement. And this is located, you know, at a subway station. Basically, you can build inside the station, you know, build up your settlement. It's really nice. I'm a fan of the subways, the overpasses, and the railroads. So if you know settlements around those type of areas, please send them my way. Anyway, with this mod, uh, the entrance to it is at a subway, which means it's going to be incompatible with Subway Runner. However, there is a patch, Subway Runner and Leshmere Station compatibility patch. So this, I assume, is going to move the Subway Runner door. As you can see, this is the original location. And I think this is the new location that they moved it to, which is kind of like, I think, like like down the block a little bit i don't know we're gonna go in we're gonna check all of that out so basically this one isn't really too hard to find you pretty much walk past this area if you do the railroad quest boston after dark where you take h222 to ticonderoga alongside uh high rise so you will actually walk past this station um i'm gonna show you where it's at anyway so let's go ahead and jump into the game with both of these mods but before i do so actually there is two different versions of these files so there's one that's like it's not esl flag and it's optimized and i guess it's going to receive all the updates while this one is unoptimized it will not receive any updates and it doesn't have pre vis binds for the interior version i have no idea what the difference is between these two guys i have no idea but this one oh man i think i'm just gonna take this one I'm going to take the one that's not ESL flagged, optimized, optimized whatever. You know what? I lied. I'm taking the one without pre -vis mines. Yeah, I'm just going to take this one. Sorry, guys. All right, so <laughs> we're going to take that and we're going to jump into it. Here we are in game. Here's Bunker Hill right here in front of me. So what you're going to do is you're just going to come out here. So you get to this road right here along the water. And you basically just run along this road and shoot any freaking super mutants that get in your way and keep running keep running until you get to Ticonderoga which is this built this big building right here this is where high rise takes you all right and you see the Fallon's department store go right here now there's there's the rate of fort but I guess I cleared them out already. And here it is. Here's the Leshmere Station. Now, this is where the uh, the settlement is. Now, Subway one Runner had an entrance that was right here, and it was conflicting. So that's why I installed the patch. So before we actually go into the station and check out the settlement, I want to see where the door was moved for Subway Runner. So judging by the pictures, I think it was moved over here. So we're just going to go this way. And I think it was somewhere along that main road. And it was tucked into one of these corners. So I found it. They actually moved this thing way downtown. So Ty Ticonderoga is down here, right? Across from that building right there. That's Ticonderoga. And freaking, they moved it all the way down here. You keep going, you keep going. And they moved it right here. So here's where the new Kendall station is. Now, the outside over here feels a little weird. I don't know if there was some objects moved or what. But one thing I did notice was that the ground like in this area might be altered just a little bit. I don't know, maybe it might just be a pet peeve of mine. But we're gonna go in here and we're gonna check the subway runner entrances just to make sure everything is okay. Thing is flickering. So, here we go. Here's the Kendall station. Everything appears to be working fine. Take him down, at Victorium, take him down. Alright, so that works. We're getting out of here before we anger some more raiders. Going inside the cell, 
going outside the cell. Everything seems to work. The outside might have some minor changes. Doesn't seem to be doing doing anything that will cause any issues. That's a lot of raiders. Alright, so now that these guys are finished, we can actually go back to the Leshmere station and check out the settlement. Here we go, Leshmere settlement. Let's pray to Todd, the god Howard, that, uh, you know, this actually works. Because uh, I actually was looking at this station a while ago, but I didn't want to use it because I didn't want to give up Subway Runner. So it's good that we're able to have Subway Runner and use this mod at the same time. Now... There is a trash can somewhere in here. It is very dark in here. There's a trash can in here somewhere in which you can interact with it and scrap everything. So once I find that, I'm actually going to uh, let you guys know. All right, I found the workshop. <laughs> it's definitely not on the, the floor that you walk in on. So let me see, where's the entrance at? Okay, the entrance is right up here. You come down. Run through this door. You come through here. Go left. Come down here, just like this to the left. Hang left, and then walk in here. Here's the workbench. Now, here's a fuse box with some power. And here's the trash bin. I think you can interact with this. Okay, um, I thought this would scrap all the trash that's in the settlement, but it didn't. So I'm just going to use the scrap all command. All right, so everything is scrapped. It looks much more cleaner in here, much more exciting to build in here. Now, you'll notice that that intercom goes off with that guy saying stand clear of the, of the rails and stuff like that. Stay away from the tracks, whatever. Keep it clean, Boston. You know that guy. You can actually turn this off. Announcement system control. You could shut down the speakers. You could change the radio station. Play a radio. Wait, what? Choose the desired radio station on a connected Robco Pit Boy before accessing this function. Let's try that real quick. Let's go to a radio. Diamond City radio. Oh! The music is playing through the intercom now. But it's also going to get me a copyright strike, so. Oh, no, it's still going. Oh, no, stop. Stop playing. Okay. Switch it back to pre-recorded video messages. I still want the announcement on. I just don't want the music. I take the chance. So yeah, you got the announcer. You can also interact with the ventilation controls because as you can see in here, it's pretty thick with the fog and these ventilation controls should actually shut it down. So enable auxiliary ventilation. And as you can see, the fog is gone. So yeah, uh, this settlement looks really nice. I don't think I'm gonna go and like try to build anything in here today it, it really makes no sense to try to show the build range of this place because it's an interior you know so no need to show off the build range or the build height pretty much anywhere in here you can build so this is something to just have fun my mistake guys i'm i'm in such a rush because i got so much distractions by me somebody's freaking stomping over my head and i'm just trying to ignore it and push through this all right so i actually forgot to just show off a freaking tour of the whole dang place so here's the entrance right i believe this consists of two levels so in here to the left you have one bathroom in here and then to the right over here you have another one all right this is like the first floor. So then on either side, you could go to the right and go down. There's nothing really over here. Or you can go to the left and go down, okay? Now when you take the left and go down, 
there's the workbench right there with the terminal and the fuse box that only gives off 10 freaking power like what the heck <laughs> and then over here there's some some power conduits you can't scrap those and you know it's just a blank tunnel over here some more tunnels just a bunch of dead ends and then over here it's just another small tunnel and then you have a nice little spot over here for something the other side does not have an opening and the tunnels just go you know pretty much over there that's pretty much it I would say that this station isn't as hype as the Fenway station settlement but it is pretty good. I think like the Fenway Station Settlement is something that you can make more like a hangout spot, kind of like the third rail. And this one will probably be like just like a residential area for some scavers, you know? Like they just take refuge down in the subway stations. So I think it's okay simply for the fact that, you know, it is a subway themed settlement, which I do like. You know, I love the subways and the, and the overpasses and the train tracks. And uh, yeah, like I said, the patch for a subway runner just makes it really good. So this is definitely one I'm going to hold on to.